Welcome back to Crypto Insights Journal. I'm your host, Jason, and in today's show, I want to walk you through how to use the Coinbase platform. And we're going to see how to purchase your first Bitcoin using Coinbase. That's next on Crypto Insights Journal. Stay tuned. So the first thing you'll notice when you come to coinbase.com is the landing page that shows you the top four cryptocurrencies on the platform. Right now, Bitcoin is number one, of course, at $32,888.63. It's up 11.13%. Then it shows you the chart and the option to buy. After that, you have the Coinbase Earn section, which is basically Coinbase Academy, where they teach you about different cryptocurrencies and you earn cryptocurrency as you progress through the tutorials. It's actually really interesting and I recommend it. So this tutorial is for newcomers. So we're not going to talk about Coinbase Pro. That's that's more information than you need right now. Right now, regular Coinbase is all you need to get started. So as you can see, it gives you a list of, of many of the cryptocurrencies that are currently on the market. And you also notice that some of them are blank where it, sits, where it should say trade. That's because it's not offered on this platform. Now, if you wanted to see the ones that you could actually trade, you click where it says tradable assets. And then you can only see the cryptocurrencies that you can actually interact with on Coinbase. Next, we're gonna to go to the learn section where it gives you beginner guides, tutorials, key terms, beginner, more beginner guides. Um, for example, what is Bitcoin? What is a blockchain? How to, what to read, watch and stream for crypto resources, video tutorial, how to send crypto, key terms, what is a Bitcoin having? Things that you'll need to know. And then you have your crypto basics, tips and tutorials, market updates, and then just scroll down to see what else it has to offer. What is DeFi? What is the market cap? What is a protocol? And then you can see more crypto basics, scroll down for more tutorials. And then here's the earn section again. And news and issues related to cryptocurrency. So it's actually, it's a lot of information and it's good. You can get all this information in one spot. Next, we're gonna to jump to the product tab. Now, like I said, we're not gonna go into Coinbase Pro. I just wanna show you the different things that Coinbase does offer. So you have regular Coinbase like we're on today. Uh, you have wallets, you have USD coin, which is um, Coinbase's stable coin. Then you have their earn uh, feature where you can earn crypto as you learn about them. Then on the other side for advanced traders, you have Coinbase Pro, Advanced Cryptocurrency Trading. We're not gonna touch that. For businesses, you have Prime, Commerce, Custody, and Ventures. So all we are gonna be talking about today is what falls under the For Everyone column. After that, you have your company information, you can learn more about Coinbase. They have the Coinbase blog, which is if you're looking to find out um, anything that's developing with Coinbase, you definitely want to check out that blog because uh, they put a lot of in-depth in information in there. So it's a good resource to have. You have your support. And then if you're looking for a job and there's something available, Coinbase Careers. Next is the Earn Crypto tab. So we're going to go there next. So on the Earn tab, this is where you come to learn about the different cryptocurrencies that Coinbase has is listing. So with each one, it gives you not only the course to follow, but then it tells you how many of that particular cryptocurrency you're going to earn as you complete the course. So once you're done, you should have that much cryptocurrency in your wallet. Once your account is open, you're ready to go. You just need to add a payment method and then you're able to buy crypto. On your home screen, you'll see a tab for portfolio, prices, earn rewards, and notifications. 
So a portfolio is actually the first thing that comes up on your home screen. As you can see, my portfolio is empty. Once we purchase uh, Bitcoin, the portfolio should shift at least towards the January mark. Scroll down and any watch list you've created, you can see it right here. So to add a payment method to your account, you have three options. You have bank account, debit card, and wire transfer. Wire transfer is primarily for businesses and high-end investors. Most people aren't going to be using wire transfers. Historically, wire transfers were how you had to do this, but thankfully those days are over and you can actually log straight into your bank account or your debit card. If you go to bank account, Basically what you do is you connect your bank account to your um, Coinbase account. Once that happens, it adds your payment method to the Coinbase account and you're ready to rock and roll. Another option is debit card. You click that and then it's gonna ask you to add your billing address for your debit card. So once you do that, you then are brought to the page that actually has you enter the debit card information and then it's gonna do the two deposits so you can verify that the account is connected. If someone wants to send you cryptocurrency, what you would do is go to the send receive option in the top right corner, click that, click where it says receive. It's going to ask you to confirm this is what you want to do and it's going to explain what's going to happen. So if you want to turn on instant transfers, click that or skip for now and just go into where your uh, wallet addresses. Click out of that. So before we actually buy crypto, I want to show you something that I think is very important. So in the top right corner under your name, click on it and then click where it says settings. And this is where you find all of the information on your account and the different features such as security, privacy, and things like that. So security is by far the most important one here because this is where you establish your two-factor authentication so what i recommend is using a app an authenticator i don't recommend using your telephone number if that option is presented to you see at the bottom you see other options text message i don't recommend that and the reason why i don't recommend that is because there's instances where maybe you change your phone or change your phone number and you forget to update your account here or in cases of a uh, cyber attack, maybe your SIM jacked. Now they have access to your phone. You don't want to put yourself at risk for that. So a third party like a Google, Google authenticator or an authenticator of your choice, look at reviews and make sure that it uh, has good reviews and use that instead. Um, you can even use one on a phone that you don't use a lot and just have that phone for your crypto stuff, your uh, authenticators, even your wallets, and don't keep it on your main phone because that's too easy to, to lose access and things that you won't even be thinking about. So third, so separate phone, keep all your crypto, crypto stuff on that, and then use your regular phone for everything else. Let's go back to the home screen and we're gonna click where it says buy crypto. So keep in mind, we're seeing these prices right now, $33,000, $34,000 for, for one Bitcoin. We're not buying one Bitcoin. I said it at the beginning of the video. We're buying Satoshis. Satoshis are a fraction of a Bitcoin. So for example, my very first crypto was about $20 worth of Bitcoin on Coinbase, right? So it wasn't based on the value of Bitcoin that I bought, I had a dollar amount and I bought that much Bitcoin, right? So I bought Satoshis. Now there's some debate right now whether we should be calling it Satoshis or we should be calling it Bits because of Bitcoin, but we're calling this Satoshis now. So if you hear someone say stacking sats, that's what they mean. All right, so we're gonna buy, we're gonna do a one-time purchase. Uh, you can buy up to 25,000 and one purchase okay so we're not going to do that so as you can see we're going to we have bitcoin selected and we have our payment method selected and we're going to click buy 
Uh, let's buy, let's buy $10 worth. All right, $10. So right now at the bottom, you see my BTC balance is zero. So we're gonna hit preview buy. Okay, so here's how much Bitcoin we are buying. This is $10 worth of Bitcoin. We're gonna pay with our account. The current price of Bitcoin, it shows you as $32,730.31. Again, don't worry about that. They're gonna receive $9.01. And the reason why is because of Coinbase's fees. So you always wanna take into account the fee structure of any exchange, any app that you use to purchase Bitcoin or cryptocurrency because at the end of the day, that's gonna determine if you use that app um, in the future. Look around. So you'll see on Coinbase, it's 99 cents right now. On another app, it could be up to two to $3. So if Coinbase is the cheapest way, go with Coinbase. If the app is the cheapest way, like uh, Cash App, for example, if that's the cheapest way, do that. But always make sure you pay attention to the fees because the fees in crypto do fluctuate, but you want to also, you want to make sure you're buying from the best option for yourself. Okay, so keep that in mind. Always check the fees. This is fees is 99 cents. Total is $10, the whole transaction. Let's see, and then it says below that, the message, trade your BTC instantly while we wait for your funds. You can send your BTC in up to six days. All right, so we're doing this through our account, okay? So now we have to see how long it's gonna take for the process to be completed. Typically, if you're using a debit card, it tends to go a lot faster, but let's have, let's have a look. At the very bottom, keep enough funds in your bank account for three to ten, three to four days. All right, so we're gonna click buy now. All right, successful and click continue. Trade immediately, you don't wait for your bank. While we wait for your funds, you can sell or convert your BTC if you like to send your BTC, please wait up to six days. So if you're trying to send it off platform, it's asking you to wait six days. The reason why is because they need to make sure that the purchase has been confirmed in your bank and also that they receive their money and that the Bitcoin has been issued to your wallet. Keep that in mind. And there we go. So in our wallet, it says balance. Now it says $9.01. 0 .00, 0 0.0002 Bitcoin. It shows how we paid for it. Okay, so it says, congratulations, you bought your first crypto and view portfolio. So now, when we look at our portfolio, remember when I told you that we'd see activity in January, see how it shot up? So let's scroll down a bit, and here's $9 in Bitcoin. So this is primary, this is our portfolio right now. So, um, so that's it. So we've purchased our Bitcoin. It's in our Coinbase account. When you go to the Coinbase app, if you've downloaded that, you'll see the same balance on the app. So you can uh, actually transact with it in, um, in the app. So remember it said, wait a few days to send. And the reason why is we already explained why. When you're ready to send, what you're gonna do is come over to the right side of the screen and you're gonna enter either an email address or an address to send the crypto to. There's two um, wallets that I recommend for new users. The first one is Edge Wallet and the second one is Exodus Wallet. Preferably Edge Wallet, and the reason why I say that is because Edge has great customer service if you need um, help with anything or need answers and they're very active on social media so edge wallet exodus is pretty so if you like a colorful display a ui experience exodus is good and i've i've never had an issue with exodus either they've been responsive not as responsive as edge but en enough to answer my questions without me having to worry so that's how you buy bitcoin on coinbase 
In our next episode, I'm going to show you how to transfer that Bitcoin off of Coinbase and into your private wallet. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Thank you for watching Crypto Insights Journal. I'm your host, Jason, and I'll see you next time.